Good morning and welcome to Thursday, April 30th, 2020's episode of What's Up with Mr. Beck. Shh, the baby's sleeping. Reminder, homework is due Friday before 8 p.m. So that is your uh, Tale of Trail of Tears and Indian Removal Act assignment. Guys, you need to watch Wednesday's video or you will not get the answers right. You can't guess these. You have to watch the video. I recommend watching the video while you're taking the quiz. Yeah, it's not, well, it's not even a quiz. It's a homework assignment. Watch the video. Don't make it hard. Watch the video. Take the quiz at the same time. Get all the answers right. It's not hard. I've seen kids do it. Kids you wouldn't expect. You can do it. All you have to do is take the time to watch the video, okay? There's a reason why when I give you the checklist, the watch, what's up with Mr. Beck is number one, because it's the most important. Expect questions that are going to be on the quiz coming up next week about this tribe, uh, Native early Native Americans. We're done with early Native Americans next week. So expect questions that are in what's up with Mr. Beck to be on the test. That's how it's gonna work. I'm not, just like when I teach class uh, at school, I'm gonna give you everything you need to be successful. If you pay attention in class, you're gonna know exactly what's what's on there. Okay, uh, that assignment is a homework grade this week. Now remember, homework grades are different than homework grades when we were at, when we were at school where it was only 5%. It is going to be more than 5% now, okay. That being said, let's get into some good news. Tell me something good. Tell me something good. <laughs> and for good news today, we've got Miss Kohler to fight Aelin fight t-shirt. Whoop whoop. We got Ethan and his sister in their fight Aelin fight t-shirts. We got Haley and a family member in their Fight Alien Fight t-shirts. We got Coleman and the whole family in their Fight Alien Fight t-shirts. We got Fight Alien Fight t-shirts everywhere. Please make sure that you order them from White Imprints. They help us all proceeds go to Alien. Uh, it'll help with her medical expenses. It'll help with uh, when we have to live in Pittsburgh for three months. So it's at White Imprints. You know, you know White Imprints. Google it up. If you want to get the shirt, it's there. If you can't do it, don't do it. It's no big deal. Okay, uh, then for other good news, I've got Brock. His good news is that he finally got to use his virtual reality headset that he got for Christmas. It was so cool. Things were in 3D and 360 degrees around me. I felt like I was in the game, like EA Sports. It's in the game. Brock was in the game. Okay, and Kaylee, thank you for answering the challenge from yesterday when you were like, well, I spent the weekend with my doggo, and you didn't even have a picture of your doggo. Well, here we go. We got a picture of your doggo, Cooper, and he is adorable. Okay. So, today's assignment for you, simply just to see an N10. Yes, you have to do it. Gunner, get it done before 6 o'clock, and guess what, Gunner? You turn it in on Teams. You turn in all assignments on Teams. All assignments on Teams. All assignments on Teams. Every single assignment will be on Teams, I promise you. If it's not on Teams, it doesn't count for a grade. That's simple. You can do it. Every single one of you have turned in assignments properly on Teams. So I'm off that. Remember, today, CNN 10, due before 8 p.m. Today, on the CNN 10. Experts debate the lasting economic effects of COVID-19. Scientists make certain plants glow in the dark and we make a virtual visit to a model train paradise all that and more today on the cnn 10 and when i'm listening to that i hear economic effects so that makes me think about that money money yeah yeah make sure you have details about it scientists make certain plants glow in the dark that sounds like impact of technology maybe but why are they doing it Find out when you're watching on the CNN 10. Okay, so the next thing I have for today's show is I asked seven students to make a visual, uh, not a visual, a, sc a screen um, 
recording of their PowerPoint presentation so we can all learn about all the tribes that we heard. We we had. So I know like Amelia had North, nope, Southwest, Southeast tribes. And so she's not going to know anything about the Arctic or the California tribes. That's Here's how we solve it. I am. This is called Jigsaw. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. You take all the pieces, all seven pieces of the tribes in America. We're going to put them together right here on What's Up with Mr. Beck within the next couple days. Okay, so make sure you're paying close attention. There will be some information that will be on the quiz about each tribe. So you have to watch and learn. Okay, it's important. Thank you. So hit it, Amelia. Hello, my name is Amelia, and I'm going to be showing you a PowerPoint about the Southeast Tribes. So, the Southeast Tribes by Amelia Miller. Climate. The climate in the Southeast Tribe is very warm. It even said often the Native Americans wouldn't wear clothes from the waist up. Geography. In the Southeast area where tribes Cherokee, Seminole, and Choctaw live, there are many beautiful landforms, some being forests, swamps, and mountains. Lifestyle and home. The people in the Southeast tribes live in different types of homes, some being hotels, dobs, and chiquis. The hotel house is made out of sticks and branches. The dob house is made of packed mud and has a little hole in the top so the people can burn fires inside their houses. Lastly, the chiquis houses are small huts made of palm leaves and logs raised off the ground so that it would protect the Native Americans and their animals from flooding. Food. The main types of food the people in the Southeast ate were corn, squash, and beans. Those were all types of food they grew themselves. Another type of food they ate a lot was fish because they could easily catch it. Tools. Some of the types of tools the Native Americans used were matoks, knives, tomahawks, spears, and nets. The matoks are made with a flat blade at an angle and are used for digging up crops. They made knives out of broken shells and used them for cutting meat. Tomahawks were made of sticks and stones and were used for cutting down trees. Two things that were very important they used were spears and nets, which they caught fish with. Art. Some types of art the Southeast tribes made were with beads and shells. Some people even made rattles out of turtle shells to keep their babies occupied. Clothes. Dream catcher, which was another form of their art, and some symbols that they used. I hope you enjoyed my PowerPoint, and thank you for watching. All right, and now I'm going to hit you with the pre today's precept, and we'll close the show. It's a quick one today. So, precept. Today's precept. You didn't come this far to only come this far. What does that mean? Well, it means we started something, and you better finish it. Every step you take will lead you a little bit further. Don't quit now. Don't stop now. You can do this. I believe in you because you didn't come this far to stop where you are. Keep moving forward. Mic drop. Okay, that's today's show. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Reminder, you have homework due Friday before 8 p.m. And I do that on purpose. I don't want you working late at night. Get it done in the morning. Today, you have a CNN 10 due to me before 8 p.m. If it's not on Teams, it doesn't count. You can all do it. Um, next week we'll do a few more lessons of the other students videos and then we'll start getting ready for a quiz. That's it. That's the whole lesson. That's the whole day. That's it. So as always, hashtag choose kind, hashtag stay awesome. Mr. Beck out.